Welcome to Enable Camera Support in Only Three Lines of Code. Hey, I'm Eric, and um, in this video, we're just going to see how easy it actually is to use the camera in Business Central. Um, I recently had to redo something in one of my apps where, and there are two different ways of, of using a camera in Business Central. There is a code unit way and a page way. And for some reason, the page version does not work on Android. Uh, it works fine on iPhone, does not work on Android. Uh, and I had used the page version in, uh, in one of my apps, probably because that one came first, but the code unit version is actually slicker, slimmer, easier. So uh, let me show how that works. Um, I have, as usually, just started a new, new extension here. And um, to use the camera, so if I go here and uh, let's create a variable, um, I could, and this is what I used before. Um, there is a page, uh, if I can spell to camera, there's a camera page and that one can do a lot of stuff. And, but that's the one I, I don't know, Android something. So the other variant is that there's also a code unit called camera. And that one is uh, seems more reliable. Um, so this is a super simple code unit. If we look and see camera dot, it has an is available, meaning that is there a camera um, and a get picture. There's a run. Uh, don't get confused. We can, we can try to click run and then just hit F12 and navigate into this and we re realize now the cursor is up here because there is no on on run trigger uh, on, on this code unit, but somehow the intelligence, um, I guess you can still technically run a code unit. Let's try it. Haha. Let's try What happens if we run a code unit that has no on run trigger? I think that that's a, uh, that's a good, good thing to try out nothing so it's valid code but it doesn't really make any sense because there is no on run trigger on this code unit. anyway back to the to the thing is what we're trying to do here so is available is there a camera or not so if camera is available then uh, message ray there we go. I have a camera. That's pretty good. Um, and if for the really, really sharp eyed of you, uh, I'm actually running not encrypted uh, browser, uh, but you can, you can set up your browser so hardware is still available even though you're not running encrypted uh, you just have to specify what sites are, are allowed to do that anyway we got a camera so we can uh, we can we can we can be nice here uh, else message Ooh. comma no camera so now we already used half of uh, half of the API here. The, so the other half is get picture. It takes two parameters, an in-stream and a text. So we can do, we can create an in-stream. So remember streams. I always say that you guys know it, uh, but have a drink every time I get tell the, the stream story that an in-stream is something that you read from, an out-stream is something you write to. So the stream is connected to something, some data. If you connect an in-stream to the data, you can read, read the data out. If you connect an out-stream to the data, you can put data in. Um, in, out, confusing directions. Anyway, so we need, what was the other parameter? It was picture name. 
So picture name as a text. So we add these two here. So we add the in stream, then the picture name. So get picture also returns a Boolean, right? So we can say that if this happens, oh, then let's do something about this. Let's start with by finding out what's actually in picture name and see if the camera works. Uh, so I hit a five. And now you get to see uh, see how well framed my normal, uh, normal camera angle is. That's my microphone uh, and, and I store old monitors up top and yeah. I, oh, you can also see stuff that's normally perhaps not visible. Uh, that's a sneak peek. Like all the IBMs. There's a whole bunch of IBM computers over here, uh, right next to a, right next to the Cray. This is a board from a Cray One computer. Look it up. Maybe you'll be impressed. I was. I paid a lot of money for that. Uh, but anyway, I will. Uh, I'll take a photo. I will surely take a photo. Here we go. That's a photo. We use that. Uploading. So here's the weird thing. So we will do this two times. We will probably do no. So there is a bug in Business Central. Some sort of whatever it is that when you're running on the debugger, uh, the on open page trigger can trigger multiple times. I have 25 videos where this is happening, uh, at least three times. Anyway, we clearly get a, a name of, of the, the, the the photo here, so that's nice. That was, oh, that's the third time. Wow. Now I think we are, yeah, so see, that's weird. Anyway, so now we ask if it's available, we uh, we get a picture. So so now the code unit itself has storage. So inside the code unit, there's the photo, and and we have asked it to uh, connect this in stream to the data. So now we can do uh, something simple. Let's do do find direct dot find last. Then we do rec dot image dot import stream in stream and reg dot modify how about that import stream uh, takes a description also so how about we just add picture name to it there we go so we have three lines working with camera check it's there take the photo and grab the photo right so let's see if this works. So now I'm going to run this without the debugger. So I hit Control F5 instead of just a 5. I get this thing again. I have to use at least one hand so I can do. Oh, that's a pretty good photo. We, uh, we go use. And we get it again. See how weird is that? So maybe it's gone so let's do this number two let's see which one actually use and now we're doing number three over here 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 hit it use okay there was the last customer and clearly that's the number three photo that's in use here. So I think this is the recommended way of uh, working with the camera because the page one is is having difficulties um, in, in some places. Um, so basically this is what I'm gonna do in my apps that, that need camera support now. Um, Check, it's available, take the photo, import the stream. 
End of story. That's actually pretty easy to uh, to, to get a photo taken uh, in your app. So depending on how you have getting data in, maybe you have users that actually use the phone app uh, or you just use the website on uh, on a phone um, or something else. Uh, you can get data in that way. So uh, that's a quick camera hacking. Uh, there's more ale going on here if uh, you want to see that. So it's selected especially for you by the almighty algorithm. Assyria, take care. Bye.